I was not blessed with the booties. So shout out to, you know, the little booties and shout out to the ladies who are blessed with that. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So we are planning and by we, I mean my husband and I, we're planning to go to Jamaica in about two weeks. And so I just did like a semi huge haul, um, 14 plus items from Shein and um, plan on using it for our vacation. So definitely stick around and see all the wonderful goodies I got. And I will give you guys my honest opinions. Just to give you guys a little bit of background, I am a mommy of two babies. And by babies, they're a little bit bigger babies. They're six and four years old. And so I still have some body issues I'm still dealing with, especially, you know, the belly area. I know like probably a lot of mommies are dealing with that. And so um, I will give you my honest truth. Like I said, I'm still, um, you know, trying to get back to the pre-baby weight. I know I, you know, I have a four-year-old. So I, I've been pregnant, you know, for a little bit long time ago. But I just, you know, with COVID and everything, and then before going through postpartum depression, like, I'm just now starting to feel like myself. So I have been working out and eating clean. I've lost 15 pounds so far, but... Um, to get back to my pre-baby weight, I need to lose another 15. So, um, just keep in mind, um, you know, just bear with me. No judgments, please. This is like really, um, vulnerable for me to even show you guys. And also, um, I just did my makeup. So if you like this look, it's like a little vacation look that I'm trying to try out. Let me, you know, get closer to the camera so you can see. But if you do like this look, go ahead and I will insert the card for you to watch me get ready and do my makeup. So let's go ahead and go on with this try on haul. All right, so like I said, this summer 2021 haul is really um, for our Jamaica trip that we're about to take in about two weeks. So it's mainly like summer stuff, but I did want to start out with um these mom jeans i know the mom jeans are like in right now so they have little um destroyed details to it i bought these in a size large i am around a u.s i'm actually in between right now because i've lost like 15 pounds um uh, my waist size is in between an 8 and a 10 like not quite yet an 8 but like the 10 is a little bit a little bit loose on my waist but it fits everything else on my hips but anyway so this is a size large i did try it on a couple days ago and i will be honest and just to give you guys a background um a large is on shein's size chart says like a um size eight and ten these fit a little bit snugged on the waist and the thigh. And like I said, like I am in between sizing. So I don't know if I was bloated that day, but we're about to see how it fits today. All right. And just to give you guys a heads up, I am wearing a waist trainer. I am waist training to get my body snatched. Um, you know, for the summertime, obviously for the trip, but also to get me, you know, back into the shape that I was, you know, before my little four-year-old boy. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and tr see how these mom jeans look.
All right, so like I said, those were the only jeans that I um, bought from Shein. Um, definitely will buy some more. I think the next time I will pay more attention to the reviews. I just saw the picture and clicked. And most of the time when Shein, like all the other influencers says, to make sure that you do check the review because sizing does vary. Like I said, the jeans fit. I'm just used to, you know, our jeans for the most part, having like a little bit of stretch. So it um, it it is a different get to use to, but as you can tell, they were perfect fit. Um, so if you were either in between an eight and a 10, or if you lean more so on the eight side and not a 10, and you have, you know, a little bit down there, I would say go with the large. But if you are like a true 10, you might want to size up. Um, like I said, I'm in between those sizes. Like you'll see I have on some shorts from Zara that I'll be trying on with the tops since that's the next thing that I will be showing you guys is a little bit of the tops I bought from Shein. And you'll see how like even though the shorts stay up because of my thighs, I still have a little bit of gap. But I feel like that if I went to a size 8, the 8 might be a little bit snug. So I'm in between sizing. So that's why it fit perfect. It fit like a glove. But uh, like I said, if you are a true 10, I would suggest to size up. All right. So next up, what we have. And I, didn't, I did not get a chance to try this on. So I will just be showing you guys. It, it's a cropped pink top. I just felt like I could just use this like, you know, going, you know, to eat for breakfast or something or for lunch on the resort. So it's just a basic little boxy crop top. Um, I have noticed with Shein though is um, <laughs> most of their stuff are like very short. So I'm hoping that it gives me some boob coverage because I am a size 36 double D in and cute having my boobies um peeking up underneath but i do have like i do recommend for you guys to wear especially if you are um bigger chested to wear like those little bra stickies things that kind of gives you a lift like the like the strapless bra stickies they work perfect so i'm thinking that i will probably need to wear this to show you guys this outfit but Let's go ahead and try it on. So I'm going to be honest, this shirt is just way too cropped. I mean, it does show a little bit of my under boob. And honestly, the only reason why I think it sh just shows my under boob and not my um, nipple itself is because I'm wearing, I just decided by the looks of this shirt that it was going to be way too cropped for me. And so I bought, I put on the little bra sticky lifters that I was telling you about um, before I even tried this on. And baby girl, <laughs> this is not it at all. So this will probably be something that I go sleeping in or something that I wear on a beach with my bikini underneath. Cause yeah, ain't trying to flash nobody in Jamaica. Do you feel me on that? No, maybe some of y'all are trying to flash people, but you know, I as a married woman. So even though, uh, you know, I still like to be cute and sexy, there's personally, you know, showing your nipples or your breasts like peeking underneath, like sagging underneath a crop top, that ain't sexy, just saying. 
All right, so let me know in the comments how you feel about this. As you can see, I'm like entirely, I mean, it's a very pretty color. It's a very breathable material, but I I mean, just why? Why is she in? Why? I mean, who wants their nipple to be poking out underneath a crop top? Just why? But anyway, let's move on. All right, so the next top that I got, I'm hoping that I have better luck. It's just, um, it's another crop top, so I may not, but this actually does look longer. It's a crop top that has the little tie knot in front. This is a very soft, very stretchy material, um, very breathable. So let's go ahead and see how this looks on me. The next top, which I love, love, love. Um, because I have broad shoulders, a lot of times oversized shirts don't look too well on me. But I got this in a large, and this shirt is so gorgeous. I will probably tie it up, it looks better, because I don't have much hips and booty. Um, I need anything and any way to like help me have the illusion that I have more so of curves and so This top is just so cute like I can see myself if I don't like tie it up wear it with you know some biker shorts like some black or um, taupey tannish color back your shorts and This just feels so 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 good like, I really love the material. This material is probably the best um, t-shirt material um, from Shein that I've gotten so far. And it's so cute. So, so, so cute. The next outfit that I will show you guys is I plan on wearing this for like lounging on a trip but it's basically a set so it's like a little sweat short set and then it has the matching like crop top to it as you guys could tell I love like solid colors I love like any type of browns it's just um, the color that I feel like looks really good and it's on trend still um, the only issue I have with this you will see this looks really pretty on but it is maybe the way that my body is built who knows but it's like these shorts are like very I guess since they have like the elastic band they're very big on the bottom so that's great for my ladies who are more bottom heavy and then i feel like that the crop top runs a little too tight but like i said i am a 36 double d and i do have broad shoulders so that might be why um why it's that way i don't know i just feel like the shorts are way more forgiving in the stretch department than the top is but it's very cute plan on wearing this like i said to lounge um around the hotel or if i'm like grabbing coffee or something on a vacation
so the next set i love so much i just feel like she in y'all must not care about ladies that got like like big chests i'm just gonna be honest because this outfit looks so 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 cute on me it's another um cord or a matching set rather so it has a little shorts it is so cute and then it has the tops and i read and i actually did read the reviews for this and so the girls did say this and even some of the girls who didn't have much of a chest but like look at this I don't know if y'all notice this. So on on this camera, it looks like um, that the boobs sh would be covered, right? Yeah, I thought so too. I looked at this thing. I was like, okay, uh, my boobs would be covered. Well, thank goodness for the bra lift pasties thingies i need to actually find what their actual name is but you know the bra stickies that actually lips your um chest because if i didn't have them it was will be the same thing as that pink crop top and unfortunately part of my boobs will be poking out through the top and so I still do plan on wearing this. I don't know yet if I will do like a bra, like a lace bralette underneath to kind of um, give me a little bit more of a protection just in case. I do have a nip slip. I'm not showing like an, an actual breast. I'm actually showing um, a bralette instead. So I'm thinking that's what I will be doing um, to kind of, prevent that from happening but it's so cute oh it is so cute like this is like one of my favorite matching sets next set um it's very cute i'm not necessarily fond of the color i was trying to go out of my box so to speak but as you guys could tell i tend to stick with like more so um of like the muted neutral colors i guess more so the earthy colors like i could do like greens tans obviously white and black but I try to go out of my um, comfort zone with this. And I don't know. I just don't like the way it looks on my skin. But material-wise, um, standard material, unlike the other quarter, um, matching sets that I showed you guys, this one has no stretch. So just make sure that um, you get it true to size. And just to remind you guys, all the sets that I've um, bought from Shein are size large. So there's no other, um, no other sizing. So large, which is according to Shein is an eight or 10. Some of them do fit a little bit more snug than others. Um, I will try to make sure to, um, I will try to make sure to let you guys know which one it does fit a little bit more snug. And so for this one, I would say, yes, this one tends to just because it doesn't have this the elastic band but also you gotta keep in mind as well um my target area is my tummy so i do have a little bit of a pouch and i am working on it hopefully in 15 pounds it will be non-existent but we'll see um but yeah it fits it fits well but like i said i am truly in between an eight and a ten so, and then the shorts that you have seen me wear on camera, 
those shorts are basically a 10 in Zara. And Zara doesn't tend to um, go oversized. Like, I feel like Zara is pretty much true to size. And as you, if you could tell, those shorts are, like, very loose on me. I could probably do an 8, but the 8 will probably be snug or just, or just fitting. So these just fit me well, like... I don't have any um, love handles spilling over or any or muffin tops. They do just fit me well, but let's say I was bloated one day, probably wouldn't be able to fit into these, okay? Um, like I said, I love the cut. It got little frills at the bottom of the shorts, very lightweight material. And then it has its matching top, which I love because it gave me way more coverage than the other matching set that I loved in the color. But um, yeah, I just wasn't feeling the pattern. I'm gonna still bring it to Jamaica. Maybe I'll have a change of mind, you know? Um, but right now, uh, it is what it is. All right, next we have is um, the rompers or one piece. So I have this. This material is very thin. Like, I don't know if you guys can see how thin this material is, but it's kind of like you're basically not wearing anything. And I do love the colors. Like I said, my color palette is more of the earthy, color tones so like your browns your oranges um i don't know i love it this one actually i will say this one actually fit a little bit looser on me which is shocking so i could have probably downsized to a medium this is probably the only um the only outfit where I felt like I could have downsized to a medium. So there you go. Um, I'm on the fence about this. I like the color palette. I think I'm going to be honest. Like I said, I have a little of insecurities on my body, especially my belly region. So I feel like that this had um, basically shown my pouch a little bit more. So what I probably will do is... Um, like wear a little waist trainer trainer or like control underwear on the stomach area to kind of snatch me back in. I have about two weeks left until Jamaica. So I could just probably do a quick detox and hopefully get rid of some of that pouch. But just in case, because I will be partaking in adult drinking activities, I will, um, you know, I will probably just make sure I wear a like control garment to control, you know, the tummy until I can um, reach my goal weight. The goal was for me to reach my goal weight. Um, well, my second goal weight in Jamaica, I will, by the time I fly out to Jamaica, I will reach, I have already re reached my first goal weight. Um, but like I said, my second goal weight was 15 pounds and we have two weeks left. So you did the math. Yeah. Moving on, um, the other one I love, love, love. I think, I think these type of outfits best suit my body type. And this is romper. I've seen so many great reviews. I love it how it cinches you at the waist. So it has like a little um, elastic band right here to cinch you 
and it's tailored right there at the waist. I love it because it gives me more of a curvier silhouette, even though I'm top curvy, but not necessarily like bottom curvy. So, um, yeah. And I've been doing my squats, but I'm early on it. So we'll see. I really think that everything will look better once I get rid of this mommy belly. But anyway, so this one is very pretty, very lightweight material. Um, it's also a very thin material, but the material is not as stretchy as the um, orangey and black romper that just shows you guys. Um, it's just stretchy at certain spots, like they put an elastic at the waist, and then there's also an elastic on the back. So if you are like bigger chested or broader at the shoulders like I am, you should be able to fit. Like I said, this was a size large, fits me perfect, true to size. I mean, if I get bloated, this still will be an awesome fit. And I just love it, it's just so cute. That one, I really loved. I felt really sexy on. Um, the next set, this is actually a bikini. <laughs> and I'm thinking about just wearing it out as a matching set. Because you would never know that it's a bikini unless you touch it. So it does have this swimsuit, like, stretchy, like, material. But it's this is actually pretty. And this is also out of my comfort zone as well. It's also, it's actually shorts, high-waisted shorts. At least on me, they're high-waisted because I don't have a long torso. So I saw in the reviews to some people, it went, um, like their belly button was still showing. But this, this just covered my belly button or was right on my belly button rather. So to me, that was high, not super high-waisted. I guess, what would you call that? Um, mid-rise, I guess. Mid-rise to, um, high-rise shorts and then it had the little matching bandeau and again this was a size large this fit true to size on me it was just so pretty like i really did like that one i felt cute so i probably won't wear that as a bathing suit i probably wear that more so as just walking out but who knows i might wear it as a baby baby suit as well you know walking around and then if i see ocean water you know jump in it's like two for one okay it's a outfit in a bathing suit and people won't stare at you for wearing it like an outfit maybe they'll stare at you if you go into water because they think it was an outfit but yeah it's actually a bikini um suit for Shein. so i was really excited about the fit on that Next stop, what we'll do are the dresses. So the first dress um, that I thought was really pretty, I'm going to be honest, I d did not like the lace material to this dress. But then when I put it on, I was like, okay, just I can I can rock with this dress. So the lace is like thick in my opinion, and it's not soft. If that makes sense. It just feels like 
cheap lace. Like, I guess I'm used to, like, lace, like, having a stretch to it, and it doesn't. So, but it is a very pretty dress. It is, it does leave barely anything to be desired. So just FYI, if you're a little bit more conservative, you may not want to wear this dress, okay? So there are a little bit of um, cheek action going on, um, a little bit of your stomach showing, but it's really cute. There are ways that you could make this more conservative, like putting a blazer over it, maybe like a longer duster if you want to cover the exposing of the rear end. But I really like this dress. Again, like, I have a mother's tummy that I can't wait to get rid of. So, um, I definitely plan on wearing, like, a control undergarment in the tummy area to kind of cinch me in a little bit. But this dress will definitely be on in Jamaica during like a dinner or something with just me and my husband minus the kids or maybe seeing like an afternoon show um you know minus the kids I definitely wouldn't wear that around my babies but that's just my personal choice but definitely um you know me and my husband going out sure why not The next dress I just love, love, love to me is very cute on. And it's this ribbed, stretchy material. Um, kind of, sort of, bodycon. I guess you could consider it bodycon, but bodycon dress. It does have um, part of your midsection out. So just keep that in mind. Um, but this is very cute on. Again, I like tans and taupe colors, the so all my browns. I just think it's very pretty and it's on trend, so why not? So yeah, I really love the details on the midsection, the little um, crossing of the strings since that's like very on trend as well. The next dress, I am going to be honest, I am on the fence with, and it's this one. And I think the reason why I'm on the fence with is because this dress is so thin. And I just don't like thin material because if you have any imperfections, very thin material shows it all. So, um, and I see a reoccurring th theme with some of Shein's, um, clothing and some of the material are thin i mean i understand that they're very affordable so you are getting it at a discount i'm just used to thicker material to kind of like suck me in or help suck me in and so this material is very thin and i'm gonna be honest i'm on the fence about whether or not this is coming with me in jamaica this is probably the only i mean i'm even taking the pink crop top and i already told y'all how short that thing was um this is probably the only thing that may be staying behind and i probably will donate it so if any of you guys want the dress let me know i could probably ship it out to y'all if not this is going to la goodwill okay yeah 
I didn't do a value of it. It was a cute concept. I don't too much care for it on me, but that's, you know, just my personal thoughts. And to save the last but not least is this minty green high slit dress. Oh my goodness. It's, it just has like a regular jersey material. So like regular t-shirt material. But oh my goodness. Who knew something so played is something so basic could just look so good. And I just really love the way that... Um, this dress fit on me. I think it really flattered my body type. Um, showing off the legs to kind of distract from the midsection and then having a low top to like, to focus on basically what I feel like um, is one of the better attributes of my body is obviously my chest and my legs. It was just perfect. Like this dress was so gorgeous. And like I said, jersey material so think about like a t-shirt material but it was so cute it does have a little bit of stretch i probably could have sized down one but to me i like the way that it fit just the way it was And, um, yeah, that's all for my Shein haul. So I definitely hope you guys enjoyed the try on haul. Um, please help, help, help your girl out. Okay. So if there's anything, any suggestions that you guys have for me about buying from Shein or even like what undergarments to wear to kind of help smooth things out while I'm transitioning in a mommy transformation. Definitely help a girl out. I'm definitely all ears on anything or if there's any um, things that you would like for me to try on in the future, definitely let me know in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe my channel. And I thank you very much for listening to me and listening to any of my mommy struggles and just watching. And hope to see you guys next time. So bye.